YouTube, what is up? It is your boy Duke, back here from SportsGamers.com, and in today's Madden 24 video, I'm going to break down the glitch blitz that all the pros are running right now on defense that you can use to get instant sacks and turnovers. Let's get it. So guys, getting straight into the video, we're going to be breaking down the dollar formation. Now, there's a lot of setups, a lot of talk out there right now about the dollar, but I'm telling you right now, most people have no idea how to set this defense up. They don't know the right setup, and they don't even know the right play to use. Um, a lot of people think this can be done from any play, but it's actually only one play you can do this from consistently, and you need to be running the multiple playbook on defense. So that's number one. Yes, I know dollar isn't in a lot of playbooks, but you really need to use multiple defensive playbook to make this work properly. So I'm going to break down first my coaching adjustments. Then I'm going to break down the setup, how you're going to want to run this, right? So first and foremost, you have to turn auto flip off. If you turn auto flip on, it's gonna the blitz is not gonna work because sometimes it will come from the wrong side. You only want to send this blitz from the left. If you try to send it from the wrong side, it's not gonna work. I promise you. Next thing you're gonna want to put your alignment on base. You need the corner spread out wide. This is just gonna help defend a lot of the popular route combos out there. It's just gonna be a lot better. I mean. I just put option defense on conservative. You don't have to, but like I don't want to get beat by the read option. Sue me. You feel me? <laughs> Next, we're going to put our zone coverage setting to match. Actually very important for what I want to show you guys, so make sure you do that as well. Now, as far as subs go, uh, I mean, obviously, like the blitz is going to come from the left, so this safety you see in the box right here for me, that's Baker. Just want somebody fast there. You don't want an actual linebacker or pass rusher there. You actually want a safety that's it's basically as fast as you can get. This guy right here is going to be your user. For me, that's Devin White. You know, whatever. Just put your best user there. Now, the play is going to be the cover to press, okay? This is the only play you can consistently do this from. If you're going to try to do it from other plays, it's not going to work very consistently. So, guys, I have multiple setups. I'm going to show you how to set up in the splits. And then I'm going to show you guys how to counter it. So, for you guys to think this is a cheat code, it's not. I will show you how to counter it. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the entire video so you don't miss out on important content. And if you want more great Madden 24 content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop me a like, comment on the video. I do appreciate the support. So first, guys, I'm going to show you the most basic, easiest way to set the blitz up. Then I'm going to show you my second setup, which is a little bit more advanced. It's more steps, but it is better to adjust your coverage and the blitz. So setup one, easiest way to set this up. Step number one. Press your coverage. Now, I want to tell you guys, you have to do this in the exact order I do it, or else it might mess up the blitz. So step one, press your coverage. Coverage out of bolts is triangle or Y, then down on the left stick. Step two, pinch your defensive line. So that's the left on the D-pad, down on the left stick. And you might ask yourself, Duke, why don't you just pinch your whole defense? Well, if you pinch your whole defense, that linebacker, he's going to move. You don't want him to move. You need him to stay where he is. Otherwise, the blitz might not get picked up. I'm sorry, might, it might get picked up if you let that linebacker move, uh, and that's important. The other thing to note is you've got to press your defense first and then pinch your defense line, because if you do it in the wrong order, sometimes that linebacker moves on the left of the screen. You don't want that. Final thing you're going to do is you're going to crash your defensive line out, slant them outside. That's, again, left on the D-pad, up on the right stick. All right, then you're just going to take your user, and you put them on a blitz angle, and you stand right here in this A-gap. Now, by standing here in the A-gap, you take a step forward at the snap that causes that interior of the line to kind of look at you and that a gap is going to come up the middle just like that it's going to scream now there's a lot of people that have been trying to replicate this blitz and they can't get it to work because they don't know what they're doing uh i've seen other people try to set this blitz up they don't even use the right play they don't have the right setup this is the setup and once you do this this is going to work very consistently for you Take this into practice mode, you guys can see, I just have to take a step forward with my user to make that guard look at me. And then we get that A-gap heat, I cover the middle. Now guys, this is not the best way to set up this blitz. To set up this blitz, uh, I would say the best way possible, you're gonna wanna use a concept that's referred to as double Mabel, which I broke down before. And to do that, you wanna go into your, back to your coaching adjustments, put your flats on 30, your curl flats on five, all right. This is just going to allow you to have a little bit better coverage for the guys that want to throw flats and corners and all that, and then you can still use it the middle of the field yourself. Now, I do want to mention there is a way to count on the splits that I will show you guys, but if you want the best way to run dollar, period, check out sportsgamers.com. I actually have a way better way to run dollar than even the pros do. My dollar is even better than this. You can't block it, 
and there's a lot more you can do with it. Check out sportsgamers.com. Sign up for the VIP membership. I put the link in the comments and the description. And code Duke will get you 10% off your order. Access to everything on the site to dominate Madden 24 just like me. First thing is, again, you just pinch your defensive line. You just hit uh, left on the D-pad, down on the left stick. Then you slant them outside. Slanting them outside is the same thing. You just hit up on the right stick. Now, this situation I'm not actually going to press because I want to play double Mabel. And to do double Mabel, all I'm going to do now is put the slot corners in purple zones, uh, curl flats. So to do that, uh, curl flat is just going to be uh, left, I'm sorry, to the right on the left stick. But again, you have to hit coverage audible twice if you're not going to click on them to do quick adjustments is what I like to do so I can always be on my user. Uh, it's quick adjust. And again, I just hit coverage audible twice, triangle, triangle, or YY. The player's icon I want to put in a curl flat. So I want to put the left slot and right slot. That's triangle and then X. So I hit, I do it one at a time though. Triangle one time, X the next time. And then again, curl flat, as you guys can see, is to the right on the left stick. Again, get in practice mode, get these setups down. It's not that hard. Again, put your user on a blitz angle, stand right in the take gap, and in the snap, you just take a step forward. Now, one last thing you could do here is if you know they're passing, go ahead and pass commit. I'm not going to lie, pass committing can make a difference, but it's not like a huge deal. Again, as you guys can see here, this blitz screams in. Now, what about countering it? I did tell you guys I'd show you how to counter this blitz, and the counter is actually a lot different than you might think. This blitz can be really frustrating because somebody who knows how to do this well and can get this blitz to come in with the right setup properly consistently, uh, blocking a running back and a tight end is extremely inconsistent and honestly doesn't do a good job at all. You actually want to slide protect. Now, the way you want to slide protect against this blitz actually doesn't even make any sense. You know, you're thinking it's attacking the left A gap, so you probably think slide left. No, you don't want to slide left. You actually want to slide right. And the nice thing about it is once you know you can slide right, if you see somebody doing this, you can kind of tell because they're going to mug the A gap. If you slide protect right, you actually don't even have to block anybody. So that is the one downside to the way the pros are running dollar right now is if you've played this and you slide protect right, you guys are going to see the pressure just does not come in. Now, once again, remember, I have a much better way to run dollar that you cannot block like this. Slide protection does not work. It's on sportsgamers.com, VIP members only. Again, link is in the comments and descriptions. If you want a better way to run dollar, sli slide protection will not work against it. But again, you guys can see here, um, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to hike the ball. And you guys are going to see, like, again, I mean, nobody comes in. Now, guys, again, if you slide protect right, you can do it from any play. You don't have to block anybody. And you'll see that now they're able to easily pick this up. And, you know, we can make our reads. There's no pressure. The other thing you can do that's actually very easy to block this blitz is you can simply call a play action pass this is probably the easiest thing you can do um any play action works like here pa bunch shot great play again you don't have to block anyone from play action but again i will mention guys i have a dollar a gap and a gap from actually a few different formations on sportsgamers.com that works even against play action so if you want a, the best blitz in the game sportsgamers.com only place you need to be way better than any other site out there i promise you that that's why i'm the best player for content every single year i come up with the best stuff if you guys enjoyed this video smash that like button until next time it's your boy duke and i'm out of here